The following program was created for educational purposes only. The creators, Patrick and Adam, are not to be held responsible for any side effects, which may or may not include temporary loss of vision, also known as blinking, or spontaneous outbursts of song and dance. Fizz, didn't you leave the cookies here? Yeah, I know I did. Are you sure? I seem to be seeing an absence of cookies. No, I'm sure I left them on that ramp. You might even say I left them on that inclined plane. Well, maybe they blew away. The wind is pretty strong. Are you kidding? Even if the wind did push the box a bit, it wouldn't have had enough force to push it that far. Somebody has to know where it went. Why don't we ask that cat over there? Yeah, great idea. I don't know what kind of cookies you've been eating, but last time I checked, cats could only meow. And sometimes do little tricks for kitty treats. But that was a- Who says cats can't talk? Go. Well, I heard what you were talking about, and I'm willing to help. My name's Kitty McMallerson, and if you just follow me, I'll let you in on what I know. Sounds good to me. Before I tell you anything, you must answer 12 challenging questions, which will be asked in a series of lightning rounds, in which... Ah! Help! Help! I can't get up! I'm hanging on this rope! Wow, that was fast. One second he was up here, the next second he was all the way down there. That's because gravity pulled him down. Remember, gravity is that force that pulls everything towards the center of the Earth. What about now? I'm not falling, so is gravity still working? Definitely. If gravity wasn't pulling on you, you'd just float away. What about now? Is gravity still working? Yes, but we gotta help Kitty McDowerson. Okay, I'm gonna pull up this rope really fast and try to help the cat. Sounds good to me. <laughs> ah, he fell. It's alright, I'm okay. What? But you just fell like 50 feet. But I wasn't falling that fast. Cats have a very slow terminal velocity. Huh? huh? The terminal velocity is the fastest that something can fall before it can't get any faster. I just flipped around and spread out like a kite and it slowed me down. You know when you stick your head out of the window of the car when it's moving? The wind blows against you really hard. Well, the same thing happens when you fall. So when the wind is pushing up as hard as gravity is pulling you down, you stop falling any faster. Oh, cool. So how'd you fall? I'm not sure, I just slipped, but I don't know why. I'll tell you why, my friend. This all has to do with a little thing called friction. Friction? What's that? 
Friction is the force that doesn't actually make you move, it just keeps you from moving. The reason you don't slide on pavement is because there is lo lots of friction between the pavement and your boots. In the same way, you do slide on ice, because there isn't much friction between you and the ice. Wow, I get it. The friction didn't make him fall, but he was just moving too fast for the friction between his paws and the icy railing to stop him. I bet you were moving when you fell, right? Yeah, it was! You're getting it, Fizz. Some force, either from movement or from all that wind we had earlier, had to be there before he could overpower friction and slip. The same goes for my tires. I don't slide unless I'm moving first. Ah, don't come near me! Don't mind him. Ix has had some bad experience with cars. Okay, I'll just stay away from him. Okay. okay, so we've learned about friction and gravity and stuff, but we still don't know what happened to our box of cookies. Aha! And we're off! Hold on, I might have an idea. Um, where are we? I'll lead you back. Follow me. Uh, could someone flip me over? Okay, so the wind was blowing. And even though it couldn't move the box far, it was enough force to get it start, started sliding. And since on a ramp, gravity would just keep pulling them down. And if it pulled down hard enough, then it would just keep sliding. Hold on, I know a lot about physics. I might be able to calculate how far it went. How's a car going to calculate anything? Got it. Oh. oh. There you go. Okay, it should be about four meters away from the bottom of the ramp. Whoa, you can figure all that out with physics? Sure can. Okay, so it should be one, two, three... There it is! Go ahead! I never knew that physics could do so much! And I never knew that Fizz and Ix could do so much! <laughs> Let's all eat some new car smell cookies! Friction, what is friction? Friction at work. Your shoes are made of friction material. It's immaterial what kind you wear. Walking or running, friction.